If I look really bored and disconnected, it's because I've recorded this 10 times already. Hey guys, welcome back. A couple of videos ago, we talked about my new APX Next XE, how I got it, and um, that I couldn't get it programmed. It was a paperweight. And for the past few weeks, it has remained a paperweight. I'm gonna pause right here and say something really important. I'm not a radio professional. I'm a radio aficionado. I'm a hobbyist, an amateur radio operator. I explore the desert. I'm a boat operator. Um, I love radios in all aspects, attributes, and as long as they're cool, I'm interested. This one's cool. I'm interested. So I contacted Motorola. Motorola said, oh, you have version 4.00 firmware. Hmm, that's a problem. You need to update that in your Radio Central. I don't have Radio Central. So I tried downloading 4.42 from Motorola's MyView website, which you have to have an account to get. I suggest you get one. And um, it wouldn't load. I use the same procedure I use on every other Apex radio. Couldn't get the firmware to update. Because guess what? Radio Central. So I applied for a Radio Central account. Um, went through a lot of rigmarole and got phone calls from everybody, including Motorola's loss prevention crew, because apparently my request triggered something with them because this is still allocated, excuse me, was still allocated to an agency. Long story short, I got the guy who originally purchased this to um, notify Motorola that it was now my radio. And he was super cool about it, real helpful, it worked out really well, but it took forever. Not his fault. I had two other Motorola dealers in town trying to help me with this. We spent a lot of time on the phone to Motorola and one of them uh, has a technical shop um, and said, oh yeah, our techs can run the update, no problem. So I let them have the radio for a while. They eventually contacted me back and said, <laughs> yeah, it's a problem, we can't do anything. It's stuck. Thankfully, the guy I got the radio from knew the original purchaser. The original purchaser said, yeah, no problem, I gotcha. And yesterday, he reallocated it to his Radio Central account, pushed the firmware update. Last night, the firmware update loaded. And uh, today, I turned it on, firmware 4.42 was installed, opened up CPS. I'm able to read and write the radio, copied in a code plug from an APX 8000 with a top-down copy, and had to make a couple adjustments to make it all work. But bada bing, bada boom, it's working. And hallelujah, I'm excited. This is a pretty cool radio. It has its downsides, it has its advantages, and we'll talk more about those later on. But um, here are the lessons. Number one, if you're buying a Next, you better make darn sure that radio is not stolen. Because Motorola, though they are very professional about this, they will track down these radios. I had a long conversation with one of their loss prevention guys, and he was super cool, especially once he found out what the real story was but he did reach out to me. Also, if you plan on using CPS, make sure it is already version 4.22 or higher, or you basically still have your paperweight. Once you have version 4.22, which allows CPS to read and write, you're fine. You can update the radio, as long as it hasn't been write protected and a few things like that. So, bottom line, Know the source of your APX next. If it's a stolen radio, well, number one, you got problems. Number two, you're never gonna get it to work. Number three, do things right. Get an account with Motorola. Um, and this is a pretty cool radio. Can you tell I'm a little blown out? It's been a long day. Anyways, I hope you guys learn a little bit from this. Uh, again, 4.22 or higher for your firmware and you should be golden. If it's other than that and you do not personally know who originally purchased and allocated this to their department, you are screwed. Don't be screwed. You know what? Buy direct from Motorola. Yeah, it's expensive, but think of how much time I just wasted over the past few weeks on this stupid thing. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today. Wish you guys luck. Have fun and uh, look out for more videos on how this thing actually works. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.